welcome back to the musical instrument investigator again uh, we're back at gardner hallgate for the next installment of their mammoth uh, set of three auctions so we already did the guitar uh, auction which ends on the 10th now we're going to look at the uh, kind of amplification and other guitar related items one which is uh, finishing on the uh, 11th so gardner hall gate based in the uk lots of specialist auctions uh trying to literally destroy my brain with the amount of items that they have i think these are some of the kind of leading guitar auctions in terms of scale in the in the world or certainly europe just for the amount of things they have so there's so much stuff so without further ado uh let's just kind of uh go uh into the uh into the auction and uh just see what we can find uh, as before in our other video, 20% buyer's premium or 22 and a half um, if you're doing online. Um, and that's added to the final price. So check over all the specs, look at all the details. Uh, signing up is pretty standard as per most of these websites. Create an account. You might be asked for bank details and a small charge to register to bid. But look look over all the shipping info, especially in COVID times, terms and conditions, etc. Just read over everything before you start uh bidding so let's just go into view all lots so we have some ridiculous amount of lots again so let's just um let's just do this a bit quicker um because the other one was a bit long so here we have the first lot is a 1991 mesa boogie uh guitar amplifier these are always way more expensive in the uk than they are uh in the usa just because of whatever the import fees have always been maybe that will change a bit now with brexit uh then we have a crate vintage club 50 guitar amplifier um now we've got another mesa boogie dual rectifier the metal bands used to like those for a little bit and then a lot of them changed over to other amps uh 1982 marshall jcm 800 lead series model 4210 um 1979 marshall jmp 2204 master model uh 1962 fender tremolux amp guitar amp i ahead uh late 1960s marshall gmp model 1968 plexi super and this is a nice amp this is gonna be good uh made in england yeah let's see not as much info is on the guitar auction so i'll try not to go too in depth with this uh yeah that's a nice amp uh they're expensive these days uh wem column speakers interesting uh dr z jazz 2040 guitar amplifier made in the usa is quite popular uh 2018 award session blues baby Ooh, a lot 1970s orange amplification or 120 guitar amplifier these are always popular these uh orange amps i'm ready with its dual cabs Yep. Nice amps. Fender 65 Deluxe a Reverb Amp made in the USA. Skid Strip R&D Custom Built amplif Amplification Overdrive 50. I do not pretend to know. Made in Denmark. Never heard of that uh, brand before in my life, I have to say. So it's a new one on me. Looks interesting enough. I'm sure other people know of that company. Black Star Amplification Unity Bass Guitar Amplifier. Marshall Guitar Amplifier Speaker. Hughes and Kettner Attax 80 Guitar Amplifier. They're German, are they? Made in Germany? Yep. Yeah. I'm sure some of the modern ones aren't made in Germany anymore, but still. Uh, vintage 1x15 Guitar Amplifier Speaker Cabinet. Fender Perform 1000 Guitar Amplifier. Line 6 Spider 3 15 Watt Guitar Amp. Line 6 by the 3, 15 more guitar amps, lots of them. Uh, I've tried a few of these Line 6 amps, like old ones back in the day. I did not like them, but uh, another spider there. Fender Jam guitar amplifier, but maybe the new Line 6 stuff is good. Uh, Vox Valvetronics AD60 VT guitar amplifier, need of servicing. There you go. Vox Valvetronics AD30 VT guitar amplifier, uh, another one of that. No lot. There was a lot, not anymore. Uh, custom kj ga 65 guitar amp fender uh skx 35r guitar amplifier together with a venom guitar oh with a venom guitar amplifier in need of attention yep okay 
let's carry on. No lots, and that's gone. Let me just see in that. Yep, so a few things have been removed. Main model 170 guitar amplifier head together with PV series 260 power mixer. Interesting. Uh, Laney Cub 12R guitar amplifier. Yep. Black Star HD5 guitar amplifier. These are small kind of valve amps, aren't they? That were popular a little while ago. You can see. You know, when it was really popular to get these mini valve amps. Fender Limited Edition Blues Deluxe Reissue guitar amplifier. That's nice. Rolling Jazz Chorus. Always popular. Mm. Another Jazz Chorus. Uh, AAP by Phil Jones guitar amplifier. I've got Bob Blair. Uh, Shirtler Unico acoustic guitar amplifier. Mm. Vintage Sims Watts all purpose 50 amplifier. Made in England. Yeah, it's cool. It looks like an old transistor one. Wem PA40 amplifier made in England. I do like these old kind of Wems and all this kind of stuff that's pretty cool Roland Blues Cube from 1996 Roland Cube 30 and a Carlsway Special Edition guitar amplifier Sessionet 100 bass compact guitar amplifier Session Sessionet yeah. Fishman Loundbox artist acoustic guitar amplifier yeah. the Fishman love all that stuff a Heart Systems Transient Attack Model HA7000 Bass System Custom Made 16 Ohm 1x15 Guitar Amplifier Speaker PV 1x15 Guitar Amplifier Cabinet PV 210 2x10 Guitar Amplifier Speaker And to the next page PV Bravo 112 Guitar Amplifier Engel Straight 100 Watt uh, Model Number 502, circa 1990, 100 watt head. That is mounted in a in a combo enclosure. Interesting. Let's see. Uh, okay, so they give you a bit of blurb there. So if you want to read up a bit more on that, uh, Laney guitar amplifier cabinet, uh, 2019 Fender Princeton amp, Chris Stapleton edition guitar. So Chris Stapleton's a kind of, I think, kind of country, folky kind of. Uh, singer guitarist dude, uh, Eden World Tour, WTB 400 watt bass guitar amplifier, Ashdown Engineering, touring bass guitar amplifier, Alembic uh, guitar import module, a couple of those, yeah, and a power supply, a Bugera Vintage 5 guitar amplifier, Bugera the company that uh, basically just rip off every other guitar amp company but they're very cheap at some stage and well, I think they're pretty good for what they were but yeah kind of uh, they just do clones of every guitar company under the sun um, 1967 uh, Marshall cabinet bloody hell that's quite expensive isn't it uh, ba -ba -ba. yeah Celestine Greenback the Thames Ditton Royal Celestine interesting yeah that's curious the old green bats, always popular. Uh, Vox AC10 amplifier, 1965. Have like, that's a, a lot of money for for that. Uh, Fender Concert guitar amplifier USA. Oh, some speakers. Fame, possibly high watt guitar amplifier. 1980 Celestians. Fender Limited Edition FSR Princeton Reverb amp guitar in a nice kind of baby blue. Although it's kind of on the really yeah, nice baby blue. That's nice. Nice colour. Uh, 2001 Marshall G80R CD guitar amplifier made in India. No logo. It's a Ma amp. 1966 Fender Deluxe Reverb amp with black face guitar amplifier. Yeah, very nice. Vox Supreme Solid State 200 watt guitar head. 1989 Marshall Blues Breaker. 1971 High Watt DR1FE made amplifier made in England. Yeah, with heavy duty. Uh, flight case. I've never tried one of those high watt amps before, but a lot of people love them. Uh, Vox AC4 TV guitar amplifier, Marshall 9000 series guitar preamp, Mesa Boogie F30 guitar amplifier, 1990 Marshall JCM 900 model, Marshall model 1912 1x12 
12 guitar amplifier speaker, 65 amps, a little Elvis guitar amplifier head, made in USA. AR compact acoustic guitar amplifiers, nice. Rolling cube light guitar amplifier, boxed. Moore Little Monster AC Mini Guitar Amplifier Head. The Moore pedals are very uh, popular, or were very popular, from my last time I checked. Fargan Townhouse 21 Guitar Amplifier. Fender Blues Deluxe Reissue Guitar Amplifier. Made in Mexico. Nice. Mark 2005 Marshall Blues Breaker Tremolo. 2017 Marshall JCM 2550 Jubilee Guitar Amplifier. Modified Fender Bass from 100 Speak Enclosure, recovered. Old Vox Guitar Amplifier Speaker, needs of recombing, so a bit of work on that. Old MT Guitar Amplifier Chassis, a little project for someone. 1969 Marshall GMP Model 1968 Super PA 100 Watt Guitar Amp, made in England. They just look so cool, these old Marshalls. That's awesome. Uh, Marshall Model PB100 Power Brake Guitar Amplifier, Red Plate Guitar Amplifier, Speaker Cabinet, Enclosure, VHT Model, Fat Boy Guitar Amplifier, Speaker, Fender Twin Reverb Amp, 1970, 1990s Fender Princeton Chorus, Trace Elliott Bass Guitar Amplifier Head, uh, and another one, uh, these were very popular back in the day, Trace Elliott, and they had like videos of them like chucking their amps off ladders and things like that because they're meant to be indestructible so uh, they were popular in the day uh, Ampeg classic bass uh, amplifiers there but this is a combo guitar box manual 1986 Sultan AA craft system CB50 valve guitar amplifier never heard of that mate before that's a curious one made in West Germany with a foot pedal oh, never heard of that so learned something new 1955 Fender Custom Vibrolux Reverb Guitar Amplifier 1966 Custom Vibrosonic Amp Steel Guitar Amplifier 1962 Fender Twin Amp Model 6G8 Guitar Amplifier Made in USA 1962 Fender Valve Guitar Reverb Unit with Internal Fitted Step Down Transformer Ooh, that's kind of cute Nice and good features of the inside That's nice Okay, orange amplification, Rocker 15 guitar amp, made in China, 2014 Marshall Acoustic Soloist, this is a lot easier just doing it like this, I save a lot of time, save my brain, 2015 Marshall JVM 410H guitar amplifier, made in England, and black star amplification, ID60 TV P guitar amplifier with foot switch, Fender Mustang mini guitar amplifier, Mesa Boogie Mark 525 guitar amplifier, Amplifier head with a Mesa Boogie 1x12 Celestian loaded extension cabinet dust cover. Do really like the looks of these Mark 5s, they're just really cute. There's something something about them, never tried one. Uh, probably seen one in person, but I can't remember. A uh, homemade guitar amplifier speaker cabinet, 16 ohm input or output, whatever. Uh, black put, black put. Black Star Amplification Fly 3 Mini Watt Guitar Amplifier with what? With the extension speaker cabinet. <laughs> That's just a bit bizarre. Uh, Rivera Mini Rock Rec Load Box with built in cab simulator. Okay, Laney Richter RV4 Bass Guitar Amplifier. 2002 Marshall Valve Set 2000 AVT50 Guitar Amplifier with foot switch, is it going to say? With dust cover, not foot switch, with dust cover. Set 4 Celestian G12 S 12 inch guitar amplifier speakers. Set 4 Jensen guitar amplifier speakers. Roland Microcube classic busker thing. Diesel VH40 100 watt guitar amplifier. Made in USA, I presume. No, made in Germany. I'm out of the loop on that. So interesting. I think they're very popular, those ones. Digitech Wami 2 guitar pedal. Uh, 1970s Mutron 3 envelope filter guitar pedal. That's a cool. Cool pedal indeed. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Dallas Arbiter Fuzz Face guitar pedal with BC109C transistors. Yeah. Classic Fuzz Face. Uh, Line 6 Pod XT modeling unit. Line 6 DM4 distortion modeler guitar. I don't remember when all this stuff was really popular. Not sure what it's like now. TC Electronics Sustain parametric equalizer. 
electro harmonics a lot so memory and guitar pedal i really do like the electro harmonic stuff it's funny electro harmonics they like put out a new pedal and it's always like huge and like you know it's just massive and takes like 18 volts or like crazy amounts of voltage and then like two months later they reduce they release the same thing but like in a smaller enclosure and like a lot less crazy but with more features so it's always bizarre that's what i've observed anyway uh crowd audio prunes and custard harmonic generator very cool melos echo chamber guitar echo unit line six modulation modular guitar pedal tube works tube driver guitar pedal ashdown engineering bass dual band compression guitar pedal nukes mod core core series modulation guitar pedal love tone big cheese guitar pedal tech 21 stands out and gt2 guitar pedal proco sound including rat guitar pedal classic rat pedal i think i tried one wasn't too keen on it uh boss fender 65 deluxe reverb amp guitar pedal together with a tuner boss sd1 super overdrive guitar pedal box together with a normal overdrive boss ph1 phaser guitar pedal made in japan boxed boss sf F ls2 line selector pedal box with uh, marshall governor pedal boss pn2 tremolo pan guitar pedal boxed uh, 1984 boss oc2 octave pedal roland ev5 expression pedal made in japan demeter amplification opto Compulator guitar pedal, whatever that is. Sharla F121 Fushweller foot volume control pedal, boxed. Pedal Train Pro guitar pedal board with in a mono gig bag. Fishman Aura 16 acoustic imaging guitar pedal, boxed. Pedal Train Nano guitar effects pedal board. Pedal Train again. Let's carry on. Fender ABY guitar pedal, foot standard. Uh, Demeter amplification tremulator guitar pedal, Boss GS10 guitar effects system. That's uh, interesting. Uh, Zoom R FX2000 guitar effects, Iraq and Korg digital tuner, Alessis Quadroverb 2 and a Korg DTR1 digital tuner, Free the Tone Ambi Space AS1R digital reverb guitar pedal. Oh, that's pretty cool. Out of the loop of all this stuff, but that looks pretty awesome. I used to love a bit of reverb, just get as many reverb pedals as possible, but not anymore. Boss GT100 guitar effects process board, Cork SDD 3000 guitar pedal, full tone plimsoll guitar pedal boxed, electro harmonics oceans 11 reverb guitar pedal, nice. Uh, Dunlop crybaby mini wire guitar pedal boxed, Marshall Ed with the compressor guitar pedal. Uh, with a Marshall RG1 regenerator modulation, also out of the loop of all this stuff. Uh, Boss NS2 noise suppressor, Boss RC1 loop station guitar pedal, Korg Pitch Black mini guitar tuner pedal, boxed, uh, good pedals, uh, Smooth Hound classic wireless system for guitar, Vox Valtronics Tone Lab SE multi effects guitar pedal, Roland GP8 effects processor rack unit, Monocore mini phaser guitar pedal. 1970s electro harmonics frequency analyzer guitar 1970s electro harmonics attack equalizer guitar pedal box jim dunlock buddy guy signature wire pedal marshall eh1 echo head delay guitar pedal boxed with something else with a marshall vt1 vibratrim morley pro series 2 wire volume guitar pedal boss rc20 phrase recorder loop station guitar pedal used to have one of these I sold it, but it's pretty cool when you learn how to use it properly, which I never really did. Uh, line 6 DL4, delay modeler, guitar pedal box, yep. And uh, then modulation, line 6 one, uh, filter module, HH electronic digital multi echo unit, Boss ME80, guitar multiple effects unit box, line 6 pod guitar, direct effects box with the line 6 pod for, oh no, that is pod with a floorboard pedal unit. Uh, Zoom G2.1 U guitar effects pedal 1970s Park Fuzz Sound Fuzz guitar pedal. I bet that might be pretty popular. Well, yeah, it's already gone over the estimate. I thought so. That's quite a rare pedal, I think. Uh, 1970s Solar Sound Color Sound Wah Wah pedal. 
Uh, used to have one of those for a bit. 1970s Ibanez FaceTone PT1000 guitar pedal made in Japan. Ibanez CP9 Compressor Limited guitar pedal made in Japan. Ibanez BC9 VI Mode Chorus. Boss DD7 Digital Delay Guitar Pedal Box. Yep, got one of them. I do like that. It's a bit, I guess, digital, like a bit harsh, but I quite like it. Boss BD2 Blues Driver Guitar Pedal. Boss RC3 Loop Session Guitar Pedal. Boss OC2 Octave Guitar Pedal Made in Japan. Joyo Vintage Overdrive Pedal Box together with a tremolo. Uh, Boss BC B60 Pedal Board with Chromatic Tuner. Jim Dunlock Original Crybaby Model GCB95 Wawar. 1960s Vox Volume Guitar Pedal Missing One Foot. Interesting. Not a lot of info on that one. Uh, vintage Dynacord F121 Volume Pedal. Nice. Pete Cornish Mute and LD 3TM AB Guitar Pedal Box. All the Pete Cornish stuff is all like for gigging musicians and you know that's just a kind of AB guitar pedal blah blah blah. But the his proper pedals are super super expensive. All the you know all the complicated ones. Electro Harmonics 424 Magnum Power Amp Guitar Pedal. It's a cool little amp and a pedal. Um, bum, bum, bum. Ooh, actually what we're doing let's go to the next page Mad Professor Supreme Overdrive Guitar Pedal TX Replica Tap Delay Guitar Pedal I like the T-Rex stuff is good Hudson Electronics Broadcast Guitar Pedal Maxon SD9 Sonic Distortion Guitar Pedal nice like that Mad Professor Symbol uh, Overdrive Guitar Pedal MXR Dynacorp Compressor Guitar Pedal Untested Battery Dan Armstrong, Yellow Humber, Plug-in Guitar Effect. Dan Armstrong, Purple Pika, Plug-in Guitar Effect. Dementa Amplication, the Tremulated Guitar Pedal, seen one of them already. Dementa Amplication, Fat Control, Mid-Boost Buffer. Harrison FX, Who's Louder Guitar Pedal. Whirlwind Selector, AB Vox Guitar Pedal. Uh, blah, blah, box. Planet Waves, Chromatic Tuner. Peterson, Strobo, Swamp 2. No, good stuff there. Peterson Strobe Tuners, 1970s Top Gear Wah Volume Guitar Pedal, Top Gear Wah again, Gen Mr. Crybaby Model Guitar Pedal, Prototype NCG Mule Guitar Effects Pedal Board with Risers. That looks pretty random. Interesting pedal board, curious. Um, uh, another one, Roland G120 GK MIDI Guitar Interface with Power Lead. 40 various gig bags, uh, a stand, selection of guitar pickups, some reference books, more reference books, yep, some more books, lots of stuff on guitars, not seeing anything totally interesting, more guitars, 1961 Fender Stratocaster guitar neck, and pencil date, let's see what pictures they give us here, okay. Later decals, heavy groove, wear up to the 8th fret, refret with current frets, worn 45, high on cracked back, sold as CITES A10 certificate. Yep. Fender guitar straps, Alembic bass guitar bridges. Interesting. Someone's getting rid of a whole collection of Alembic uh, bass guitar bridges. Interesting lockbox labelled Alembic tools, so something's, someone's selling off some of that. Uh, some cases, not that super exciting. Uh, more cases, Seymour Duncan, JB Jr. pick up a pair of Seymour Duncan jazz humbuckers, Seymour Duncan Alnico 2, Seymour Duncan Fat Cat, Seymour Duncan Little 59, Seymour Duncan 340 Pounder Telecaster, Seymour Duncan Vintage Broadcaster, Fender Noiseless, Noiseless Stratocaster guitar pickup, a pair of Maxon humbucker guitar pickups, Gibson USA humbucker, Gold Cover, Gibson Burst Bucker, Fernandez Sustainer, guitar pickup set with insulation. We saw a Fernandez guitar the other day but didn't have a sustainer but they, there's a sustainer for it. Kent Armstrong designed sky pickups. Um, I had some of these actually, I sold them not that long ago but they were P90s. Uh, I think it was like a short lived um, kind of Kent Armstrong and this kind of I think Korean manufacturer but it didn't really work out I don't think. Kent Armstrong sky uh, tube pickup. Paul Reed Smith PRS USA humbucker guitar pickup. Interesting. Uh, yep. Uh, acoustic guitar pickup. Acoustic guitar pickup. Blah blah blah. And tune volume knob. Loaded pick guards. Sorry, it's not too exciting. Floyd Rose parts. Fender 
uh, tuners, la la la, and go to a bridge, some other things, cables, some more straps, some kind of stands, the old Bigsby B5 tremolo unit, there we go, Martin guitar reference book. So if you're into Martin guitars, I'm sure that'd be quite interesting. The old Martins, loads of guitars, uh, Gibson books, some Fender books, reference books. That's cool. Uh, price guides and stuff. I've got a few of these things. Yep, so many books on guitars. Korg pitch black rack unit, some more straps. More bits, stands, early 70s Fender Telecaster neck, Fender Redondo guitar neck, okay. Mid 1970s Fender Telecaster Ash guitar body, four guitar pit guards, uh, rare original double sided enamel sign for Radio Society of Great Britain. Well, that's a bit of a, a random inclusion, isn't it? Oh, and now we're getting into pro audio, reel to reel amplifier. Uh, Mackie Mixing Desk, Roland Digital Stage Piano, Poly Moog 2003A Synthesizer Keyboard, nice, that's cool, let's have a look at that, very funky, uh, Soundcraft Mixer, Tascam, blah, blah, blah. Laney Concept for Channel Amplifier Head, Search the PA Speakers, M Audio trigger finger USB controller, a pair of quad electrostatic speakers, uh, Lexicon dynamic reverb unit, Korg Micro X synth controller, audio recorder, blah blah blah, Oscar programmable music synthesizer, keyboard, uh, blah blah, Yamaha synth made in Japan, nice Roland VK7 organ made in Japan, together with what? With a quick lock dual keyboard stand, nice. Yamaha DX7, digital programmable algorithm, reel to reel tape recorder, Soundcraft uh, mixing desk, pair of mission model speakers, Alessis digital track unit, 8 track unit, sound module, digital effects processor, uh, more things, studio effects rack units, yep, Tascam Porter Studio. 8 track MIDI recorders, some old school ones there, Alessis, Yamaha digital percussion drum pad, Shure SM58 microphone with stand, Rode NT1 microphone, Bayer Dynamic SM250 wireless microphone, Pioneer reel to reel tape, ooh, cable reel, Tuscam studio mixer, interesting, ooh, 4000 report monitor reel to reel unit, nice, Hammond organ, mm, once went to a concert of Hammond organ jazz, uh, never again. Uh, Yamaha E1005 analog delay unit made in Japan. Another one. Cool tone work digital rack tuner. Uh, professional dynamic instrument. Uh, blah, blah. Condenser microphones. Condenser. Another mixer. Sony audio CD players. Line 6 Quad XD and a rack unit. Is there anything else? Alto professional powered loudspeaker. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Soundcraft channel mixer, focus right uh, audio interface, uh, drum machine, boss drum machine, KRK Rocket studio monitors are pretty good uh, entry things, load of speakers, uh, wire, record player, strobe control unit, and power mixer with whatever speakers. So, yeah, well, we got to the end of that quite quick, um, so that's good. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum. let's kind of have a look so it's an interesting enough uh, auction some interesting items not as exciting as the guitars but uh, there's some pretty cool stuff uh, if I had to pick uh, my favorite item from here it's probably gonna be an amplifier isn't it let's be honest um, what would I pick that is the question I think some of the old Marshall ones were quite interesting. Uh, the high watts would be pretty cool. I think there's a few few things I'm interested in. Yeah, it is curious. I'm trying to. I've already forgotten everything that's in the uh, auction. 
just because I think they're quite quirky, I'm going to go actually for the Mesa Boogie Mark V guitar amplifier head with cap. I just always kind of like the design of them. I think they're really sleek. Never tried one, would like to. I think it would be quite a nice, uh, nice amp. So, yeah, and someone is interested in it already, so it must be popular. So, yeah, that's it. We've now looked at the kind of guitar amplifier and other bits kind of thing. Um, kind of got that uh, done quite quickly didn't look in depth as much as previous ones but i think there's not much information on these listings like the same with the as as much as the guitars so we can just blaze through so yeah if you want to check this out i'll put the link in the description for the video and this finishes on the 11th of march this particular one so get yourself an amp or some other guitar related things so thanks a lot and ciao for now bye Many thanks for tuning in to the Musical Instrument Investigator. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like, uh, subscribe and turn on notifications and watch out for the next video coming soon.